Good evening, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live on our Patreon channel here. And I wanted to kind of share some things with you. And I, I think that we've actually discussed this already about the drilling, uh, the drilling to, towards the center of the earth. Uh, but in light of the fact that I may not have, I was trying to go back and look here on Patreon to see because there's so many things that I've wanted to share and then I'll forget to share certain things. And I don't know if I did share them or did not share them. But this was one uh, I was reviewing some notes on that I wanted to come back and share with you just in case we didn't talk about it. Uh, was drilling to the center of the earth, the deepest manhole in the world, of course, they claim is the one in Russia. And uh, this one uh, says, many attempts to drill through the bottom of the Earth's crust have been made since 1950s, but so far, no one managed to reach the final goal. Most of the stuff scientists knew about the structure of the Earth back in the 1950s was theoretical. Everything changed in the 60s and 70s when the USA and the Soviet Union started a new version of space race, a race to the center of the Earth, if we can call it that. Um, there's, there's a lot of things. That's where they capped it off. I think the one there in Russia there. Uh, they show you all the debris of all the stuff that they piled up outside of the place where they were drilling their hole. Uh, the U.S., so if I'm not mistaken, I don't, of course, this is not official. It's actually drilled deeper than what Russia did. And, uh, but it is kind of something they don't want you to know about. There is one of the holes there that, are, that is being drilled. Um, I know that the one that we did is 18 inches in diameter. I think the Russians, theirs was 10 inches in diameter. And the real reason behind these, these holes that they're drilling is to find out what's in the center of the Earth. The scientists already believed uh, pretty passionately that the Earth was hollow and that they wanted to see if they could drill down and go through the uh, Earth's uh, crust uh, to see exactly what's in there. Uh, we do drop cameras down, things like that, to be able to look and see. And... As I was uh, getting to find out more about this, it was very interesting. And, and of course, the reason why they know the Earth is hollow is because of the entrance in the South Pole. Uh, and I think there's an entrance in the North Pole. There's several places uh, that can be accessed through the uh, crust of the Earth, through caves and things like that. But of course, the bravery to get in there that way has just not really been done. Uh, so they decided to do, just as Russia did, to drill the hole. Now, of course, if you remember, Russia talks about and I think I've got this in here highlighted. Yeah, here we go right here. That the Kola Borho gave rise to the well to hell, urban myth and about scientists accidentally breaking through into a chamber of fire and hell and bearing the sounds of demonic laughter through a microphone. Uh, and, we, and I've heard those before, those things there. Now they show the U.S., the German hole, et cetera. Nothing seeming to exceed that of the 40-something thousand feet that the, the Russians drilled, but... I have been told, though, that we've drilled much deeper than what the Russians did, drilled. Of course, unofficially, can't put that out there anywhere. Uh, and the other thing that was interesting, too, is that in the process of drilling that hole, uh, they talked about how that the, um, um, oh gosh, I'll get my brain here to work here in a minute, that we've actually drilled through several oceans along the way. And I actually asked, well, what are the temperatures of these oceans? Because, you know, everybody says the Earth is lava on the inside. Well, I said, no, the, the temperatures are pretty much the same as the oceans that we have here. And this is one of the reasons why they also know the type of creatures that are down there, uh, because of sending these cameras down uh, through the mantle of the Earth. Uh, now, from what I understand, though, we have not been successful to actually reach the center of the Earth. We haven't gone through all the crust where you get into the inner core of the Earth, like what you can through the North and South Pole. Uh, but they have found, like I said, the oceans and stuff as they move along through there and the creatures that are living in the oceans. Uh, also, too, I mentioned, too, let, let me just jump over here with Pluto. And I know I did mention Pluto a little bit to you guys uh, in one of the other videos that we did there. And but what's interesting about Pluto is that it's not what people think either. Everybody just thinks this is just an ice cap planet. Um, and there were a couple of things, and, and I know I shared this with you guys already, that there are oceans on this planet. Uh, there are also 
uh, believed to be living creatures on the planet of Pluto. It does have a, I think they told me it was a methane gas atmosphere, so we, we would have to actually have some sort of spacesuit to be there. And the Russians did have some type of satellite that was actually watching this planet, observing it. Uh, and the last, right before that satellite was destroyed, it was actually destroyed by an alien spacecraft, according to what I was told there. So very interesting, uh, some of the things that go on. And, and of course, uh, everybody just thinks, well, it's just all ice on there. And it does look like all ice, right? But uh, just back from Pluto, San Francisco Chronicle, that's a new one there. I haven't seen that before there. But uh, but yeah, you can see the blues in there. And that must be the oceans that, that, that they're talking about. Uh, so I don't, don't really know. I just find it kind of interesting. And I uh, thought you might find that as inter interesting as well. And, of course, that goes back to when I was talking about, uh, and I don't think that is on Israeli News Live. Maybe, maybe we shared that one about JFK uh, on Israeli News Live as well. I think it may be just here on Patreon. Some of those I pop over there on Israeli News Live just so that people can see some of the interesting things that we get to talk about over here. Uh, but I'm trying to go back and review some notes because there are several things. And there was another one I wanted to share with you today, and I just totally forgot what it was. Wish I'd have wrote that down so I could come back and look at the notes a little bit more, a little bit more carefully. Uh, but um, uh, but yeah, very very fascinating information that's out there. Anyway, I'm Steve Banoon. Uh, you're watching Israeli News Live. I hope you are blessed by this.